Well, it's a beautiful Oklahoma sunset today, and uh, I am going to uh, be doing a follow-up video for my original Walmart dumpster dive. I've uh, <clears throat> got a lot of good tips and a few hate comments, but uh, basically, um, I feel like it's time now to go ahead and try to get these lawnmowers running. Okay, uh, it's been about a year since I dumpster dived and got this couple of lawnmowers. I gave one to a neighbor because he said he might be able to fix it, but he wasn't able to. Uh, and I've got a lot of comments and stuff about uh, what I should do to fix this thing, so decided I'm going to give it a go. Uh, number one, a lot of people said I should pull the tank off in order to properly flush it. It's a great idea. Uh, number two, that I should check the spark plugs and clean that section out. And number three is that I should clean the carburetor out. So I'm going to tear into this thing and go through all those steps and stuff that everybody recommended and see if we can't get this bad bitch running. Okay, step one I guess would be to pull this shroud off of here so I can see what the fuck is going on. And the next step, it looks like this uh, fuel tank just slides right out of here, but I gotta disconnect the line down below. So I'm gonna do that. Now obviously my original cleaning was not good enough because there's a bunch of that spills orb which I've been informed is actually not pumice but I still think it's probably made from pumice and that's clogging the line a little bit of it in the line at least I don't know if you can see but there's a bunch of shit still in there too so we're really gonna have to give this a good flush and it looks like I can open this split this tank in half and really get down to the gritty now since this uh, fuel primer bubble is right here uh, and I'm pretty sure that whole thing you see while I push on it, it's blowing all that shit out. So I'm gonna have to take this off too. This is the air filter. We'll remove this. It's got a bunch of oil in it. I'm not sure what's behind this, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull this whole assembly off here too. Okay. That just kinda sits on there. And that's actually, that primer ball's got a filter in it. I'm still going to try to flush it out. Okay, and it looks like this carburetor just kind of slips on here. And then the throttle mechanism slides in there. And looking in there, it looks pretty clean to me. But I'm going to open up this bottom part too and check that. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. It's full of ice and water. That's bad. Okay, looks like this some bitch in carburetors got some water and frozen water in it, which is ice. I'm gonna try to get all that shit out of there so I can clean it properly. I'm not sure how it got water in it. It's been sitting on its sides this whole time. But uh Okay, I am looking in this little hole right here. Which looks like, uh, I guess, where the fuel goes into the engine. And it looks like there's some crud in there, too. So I'm probably going to have to pull that off to, to really know what's going on. Okay, next I'm going to pull off this little doohickey right here. Okay, I got this thing loose. It looks like that is actually the rocker arms. And it does have ice in it. So that's, I'm going to have to drain this oil. Alright. I'm going to open up this exhaust section here, too, and see if that's got any water in it. This is actually an unpaid advertisement for uh, all penetrating blaster products. I use PB whenever I get the chance and trust every product that they make. Got the uh, muffler off. I'm guessing this is a muffler. And aside from some slight residue in there uh, I'm guessing this part's pretty clean next I'm gonna remove the spark plug and make sure there's none of that spills orb inside the cylinders themselves okay I'm seeing yep there's some spills orb residue right there on that spark plug so I'm gonna have to really flush this thing out deep okay uh, since it's such a small hole and I didn't have my funnels with me 
I just cut a little hole in the top of this plastic bottle, filled it with gasoline. I'm going to use uh, 500 milliliters or 16.9 ounces to flush this thing out. Now I'm just going to let that drain for a little bit and make sure most of that gas get out of there. Next, since uh, there was some ice and stuff in the valve cover, I'm going to drain all the oil out of it <coughs> just to make sure there's no water in that part of it. Actually, since it's so damn cold, it's like 14 degrees out right now, <coughs> and uh, since there, I know there's ice in there already, I'm going to take this sucker inside so it can acclimate to a warmer temperature and all the ice and shit will melt out of there, drain out his water. Okay, while that's inside uh, getting warmed up and draining out, I'm going to go through and clean off the valve cover, spray out the, uh, the carburetor, clean out this primer bulb, and try to clean out that air filter using this brake cleaner, brake parts cleaner. It was on sale at O'Reilly's. Okay, for this uh, valve cover and the air filter, instead of wasting a bunch of the brake cleaner, I'm going to have slightly modified a drinking water jug, and I'm going to make a gasoline bath let these parts soak. And uh, because this carburetor had uh, this ice in it, I'm going to take this inside, let it warm up for a while. Okay, and it appears that this primer bubble has a little lock ring that you can undo from back here. I'm going to try to get this son bitch out. Okay. And you can see that's still got some spills or residue in it, so I'm gonna clean that out. Rinse this filter off. Looks like I got all the residue out of the primer ball here. Clean that up. Sprayed out this uh, filter, fuel filter, I guess is what that is, with uh, that carbon choke cleaner. I'm gonna reinsert this ball here. And uh, I was able to get most of the oil out of the air filter, so that's ready to go. Okay, upon further inspection of this fuel tank, it is that the two halves are actually plastic welded together. So you can see there's a little bit of residue there, and the whole bottom of the tank is filled with residue. So I'm going to try to flush that out. Okay, I tried just dumping some gasoline in there, but uh, I'm guessing there's probably some ice in this thing too. So I'm actually going to fix up some hot water and dump that in there and use that to clean it. I don't know if you can see down there, but looks like that got most of the residue out. Now to make sure that there's no water left in the fuel tank, I'm going to give it a rinse with gasoline. Okay, fuel tank's all rinsed out. Okay, uh, left that thing inside to warm up and thaw out for a couple hours. Yeah, got all the uh, oil drained out of that thing, looking pretty black. And it does look like there's some water in there too. Uh, kind of, yeah there is, see. And so uh, now I'm going to put it all back together, uh, got everything cleaned out, I'm going to spray this carb out, it's all dry now, there's no more ice, I'm going to spray this out with carb cleaner and uh, spray this tube out and shit like that, start putting it back together. Okay, I got it all <clears throat> reassembled and put back together, and uh, still don't have a gas cap for it, so I don't think the fuel system's under pressure or vacuum or anything, so I'm going to try to see if it'll start without the gas cap on and if it works then I'll just buy a gas cap but uh, the only thing I really noticed is in here where the fuel line goes into the carburetor there's another little white nozzle type thing sticking out there and it doesn't have a it didn't have a pipe on it or any kind of hose or anything I'm not sure what that's all about uh, but okay now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just fill it up with oil and gas and see if we can get it started Okay, I got fresh oil in there and fresh gas and uh, just gonna prime it and see if it'll fire
tried to fire up. That's closer than we got last video. Sounds like it's getting spark, or else it wouldn't have fired like that. So something must be wrong with the fuel or the air. Uh, any tips or ideas as to how to uh, proceed from here would be appreciated.